What's going on, guys? So here is another post commentary. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I something. Oh, I just want to talk about this Madden Challenge thing. So I found out that these ranked matches on um, Draft Champions could lead to the Madden Challenge. I'm gonna take you guys back to like 07, okay? When I got my first Madden game, me and my dad we went to the store, we bought this first Madden game. I played it all the time, like every day. I remember watching this show called Madden Nation on TV. It was my favorite show. I still just rewatch seasons all the time. It's always been my dream to be in like a Madden challenge or something like that. Like it's something that I've always just kind of wanted. It's just as a Madden fan. And then when I started playing competitively, competitively in Madden 12 and 13, it was just at the point where it was starting to starting to fade away and I was never good enough or never old enough during those chants. But the fact that they're bringing it back, oh, here I get a nice pick with Bud Dupree. I forgot about that interception. Uh, we could end up taking that one for six, but how it works like in these draft champions now is you rank up, you just keep playing draft champions, keep playing these ranked matches. If you get a good enough rank, the top 64 or something, uh, get to go on to uh, the next round and then the top four get to fly out and compete. And I want this, oh, there's a beautiful interception by Luke Kiki. I want this so bad. Like if I can find enough time with school and everything, I will play draft champions till like the sun doesn't shine. Like I want to start a series called the road to the Madden challenge. Like. I feel like such a little kid, like I'm, a, I don't, I'm not afraid to admit that this is one thing that I want so bad. So here, let's get into the gameplay. Uh, this is, I think, game four. At this point, I'm four and one, I believe, uh, in the season. So I'm doing pretty decent. Uh, here, I have to punt, uh, though, for the first time uh, with a minute and 11 seconds left in the second quarter. But as I was saying, like, this is just fun. I feel like it really le levels the playing field, too. The fact that it's draft champion, so you don't get to have your own playbook. You don't get to pick your own team. You don't. The guys with the stacked ultimate teams don't have a big advantage. This is draft champions. Like, this is, you get what you get, and everyone's on an even playing field. So that's going to be out. And here, he burns me through the middle with Andrew Luck. So I'm back. It's first and 10. He throws it into the flat. It's a pretty decent game. This guy was pretty good on ranked. I've noticed the competition is a heck of a lot better. Oh, but an interception by me. That was a beautiful pick. I totally baited him into that. Uh, but it was right at the half, unfortunately, so he is getting the ball back. He's got number 22 with turning kicks. I don't know who that is, but he was pretty solid. And Andrew Luck is an absolute stud as you know, on this game. And he throws deep, and we get the swat down. I thought he was going to get that on that four vertical play. But this guy liked the toss. And I've noticed a lot of these draft champions ranked as people love this I-form pro toss. So if you guys have a defense that you know that's just money stopping it, let me know. I have a few defenses, but if you have one that you know is just stops the toss every time, let me know. And then he's Dots me through the seams. I hate getting beat through the seams. It's the absolute worst. That's one of the things about playing a defense like mine where I'm so aggressive with my free safety. There's a lot of times where I do get beat through the seams. But here he underestimated the read option skills of Cam Newton. And we pull the ball. We take it for about 13 yards. I know I have to score here because I don't want this to ever be a one score game. I want to take control. And then I run again with Cam Newton. Picking up a first down and quite a bit more. So in the third quarter with about a minute and 39 seconds left. We drop back. We fake. We throw into Kevin White in the flat on a bubble screen. And then we juke. Out the guy that was absolutely incredible. I showboat into the end zone because it would, if you ever play like that, like it's literally the rules. You have to showboat. You have no choice but to showboat if you do something that cool. And then I get a sack. So he, but he ends up getting a first down after that sack and throws it into the seams again for another nice completion. So he's got this seam stuff going. He knows what he's doing. He throws a four vertical again right over my guy. I was getting so frustrated with that. I like, can't even tell you how sick of that I was. And then he drops back, he's surveying, throws it into the flats, but we're all over him again. Uh, so then he throws over the middle on a slant row, gets to about the one yard line where he is going to score, obviously. He rolls out of the pocket with Andrew Luck, throws it across his body into the end zone. So he scores to make the score 21-14. I am getting the ball back though, and never underestimate Cam Newton. I throw it to Davis in the flats, number 47. He gets a pretty nice, solid game to start off a drive. You need good first plays on drives. That is absolutely crucial. And then Davis on third and 10 gets clutch again with a huge catch. So on third and nine, I fake the run. I wait for it. I throw a little RAC catch into the flats to Kevin White, who ends up getting the first down. And that pretty much seals it, guys. I end up just running out the clock. So let me know. Leave a like on this video if you're excited to witness my road to the Madden Challenge. How sweet would it be if I could make it there? Honestly, I would be so pumped up if I could. Like, that is the absolute dream. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.